Welcome to the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis, and we're glad you're taking the time to explore the opportunities available to you in small business startups. From idea to an invention, from entrepreneurship to investment, from innovation to crowdfunding and franchising, the Small Business Network is here to help educate and encourage your inner entrepreneur. The Small Business Network introduces you to crowdfunding efforts and franchises on offer that just may fuel your interest in online investment. If you see something here that leads you on a path to becoming your own boss, then we'll have done our jobs well. Remember, if you like what we're doing or if there's something else you'd like showcased, by all means, let us know. Reach us by tweeting at ConnectSBN or by email info at ConnectSBN.com. And if you like what we're doing, there's one more thing. Tell your friends about us. They can watch. 7 p.m. Thursdays on Comcast, 7 p.m. Thursdays on Altice, 7 p.m. Thursdays on Roku, and whenever you want to watch online. The web address is www.connectsbn.com. Now stay tuned. We'll be right back. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. From the department of what will they think of next, you're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DeNovellis. So, what will they think of next? In this case, it's the power and the strength of the sun. From GoSun, solar technologies that can cook, cool, light, or charge your electronics. GoSun's affordable products are portable, more efficient, and free of harmful emissions. In its campaign pitch materials, GoSun says it's developed a formula for launching clean tech innovations with a skilled team and an international presence. Important to note as you consider investing, GoSun started with solar ovens, but now has expanded into solar fridges, solar lighting, off-grid power, and is now exploring options in solar shelters. Let's take a look at these breakthroughs in action in the campaign pitch video for GoSun Solar Products. We got a call from the American Red Cross and they said, what do you have for us? We need solar stoves because the power, water, is in, in all the fuel supply is wiped out in the Mariana Islands. I spent Friday night preparing everything at the warehouse and on Saturday morning they picked everything up. It went on an airplane and flew out to the islands of the Pacific. When you apply uh, a bent towards using more sun, you end up with a product that often has uh, far better functionality. When you have a high efficiency appliance, then a small solar system can power that appliance. Right now, we have a 30 watt flexible solar panel and a 150 watt hour lithium ion power bank that'll fit in your pocket. And that little power bank mixed with that solar array can cook a meal for family and keep drinks and, and food cold for days. Our vacuum tube technology is very, very efficient at collecting sunlight and turning it into heat. So you can cook a meal even on freezing cold days or cloudy days. GoSun has created the world's best cooking appliance. We've just launched a cooling appliance. We have wonderful power and lighting solutions. And the next natural fit would be shelter. Tiny houses are really helping to open up the door for the type of innovation that GoSun's already doing. And we can incorporate all of the technology that we've studied and we've innovated upon into a tiny house. The time has arrived where we actually really need to develop low cost, resilient technologies that will serve the masses and serve needs in a highly changing world. We see solar powered appliances everywhere in the future. If you look at like emergency management as an industry alone, our energy storage technology have a huge opportunity to help support people in crisis. And you look at the housing issues, especially on the coasts, our off-grid technology is a huge opportunity to address a crisis with respect to low cost available housing. And very few companies have built themselves into the heart of the American consumer 
in the threat of solar. Ghost Hunt emerged as a, a really perfect name to exemplify what we do and what we are. Portable solar power on a consumer level, small, sweet, and effective. I believe that, that we will and should power the world with the sun. I think the sun should be relied on. And, and one of my big efforts with Go Sun is to get the sun into people's lives in ways that they may not have otherwise experienced. Minimum investment in GoSun is $500.50. One of the reasons for GoSun's rising popularity is none of the products need fossil fuels to operate properly. It's 100% clean energy, from the first consumer solar products manufacturer to successfully break into mainstream markets. There's a lot more to learn about investing in GoSun, and the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you with business and legal advisors, including our own crowdfunding guru, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. You can drop us a line by emailing here, info at sbncrowd.com. Remember, financing is available for crowdfunding and franchising. Let us show how we can help. More investment opportunities for your consideration are on the horizon. You're watching SBN, the small business network. Stay tuned. You don't realize when you're mentoring and talking to people that you're more than just that mentor. You're, you're that person's support base. And sometimes you're the only person that they have that they can talk about these things with. Welcome back. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis, and if you've been watching us for a while, You've heard me mention that I am a shaper of young minds, an advocate for education. In my other career, I'm a high school teacher. That's why this next campaign for your consideration struck a positive chord with me. I'm talking about the College Coaching Network. Its founder, Claude Harris, says it closes the guidance gap for high school students headed for college. There's a revealing story behind Mr. Harris's dedication to the project he's putting up for your consideration. And rather than me, I think it's best if we heard more about the College Coaching Network from Mr. Harris himself in this campaign pitch video. I had a 3.875 GPA. I scored 17 on my ACT test. No one told me from the guidance counselor's office how to prepare for the test. I didn't know back when I was 20 that it was a seed being sown in my heart that would actually catapult me into owning my own business. My name is Claude Harris. I'm the CEO and founder of College Coaching Network. College Coaching Network is a mobile guidance counselor experience where people have access to guidance counselors 24-7 through their mobile device. We started private consulting with a lot of families that needed help in regards to finding scholarships for college. They didn't know how to go through the college planning process. So we created a program that they could continue to receive that support 24-7. I didn't even know I had a tech business. Before we had the app, life was crazy. Great problem to have 500 students. Still a problem because you got to key all those in. We won the grant through Digital Sandbox, so they've been amazing for us. Uh, they gave us validation to get the app created. So the app allowed us to have them download the app. We don't have to do anything. They do a registration form, and it's a one user seamless integration where they get their username and their password right there on the spot. So it has made our life a lot easier, and it's put me in a better position so we can scale. One of the greatest resources that are out there is KC Source Link. They can get you introduced like, to great organizations like One Million Cups, Digital Sandbox, Elevation Lab, Pitch Perfect, Heartland, and the list goes on. So there's over 240 resources that are through KC Source Link. Pitch Perfect actually showed us how to do an executive summary and how to put everything together to go after angel investors. And they teach you how to create a business that can scale. So I would say just to any entrepreneur, you got to learn how to use the resources that are out there, KC Source Link. If you don't know which way you should go, they will direct you in the right path to make sure that you get your business where it needs to be. Minimum investment in the College Coaching Network is $100. Mr. Harris's mission is admirable and inspiring. Imagine kids having a chance to miss all the potential missteps of getting into a college or university that's right for them, 
all because an innovator stood up and took on the cause. No surprise, there's more to learn about investing in the College Coaching Network, and the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. To learn more, simply drop us a line here. Info at sbncrowd.com. Remember, financing is available for crowdfunding and franchising. Let us show you how. There's more ahead right after we erase the board and turn in our term papers. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the small business network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DeNovellis, and I have to say, sometimes I think you have to pause and give a cheer to the ingenuity and inventiveness of the people behind these crowdfunding campaigns. And sometimes it's best to let them explain their products and processes on their own. In the next case, that supports my premise. Here for your consideration is the campaign pitch video and the founder behind Clearwater Distilling Company. I'm Matt O'Claire. I'm the founder of Clearwater Distilling Company. I come from 25 years background in software and data, and I've always had a passion for high-end spirits and for food and creativity. And my home bar is probably the largest bar in Utah County. As you know, I've been, I'm into high-end spirits, and my friends know this too, so they all chipped in together and got me a still for Christmas. Amazing gift. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna make something. And I, the first thing that came to mind was distilling a sangria because I've never heard of anyone doing that. So I gave it a try. I had no idea how it was gonna come out and it came out great. Uh, everybody loves it. People are saying they could just drink it all night and it's like, well, wow, I could sell this. I've toured a lot of distilleries in the world. Been to Scotland, been to France, been to a lot of places that make spirits. And what they're doing there, it surprises me how little creativity there is. They're using a yeast that has no flavor. They're using a yeast that basically provides them alcohol in the fastest amount of time. For us, our passion is taste and flavor, and my experience with beer and with spirits and everything in the past tells me that yeast is an important factor. We don't care about how long it takes, it tastes awesome. That's the important thing for us. And for people who are into high-end spirits and want something that's amazing and creative, you can't get that from these guys who are just doing the regular stuff and want to be on the certain shelf in the liquor store. So that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. Our first product's gonna be what we're gonna call an O to V for now. And we're calling it an O to V because it's our spin on an O to V. It doesn't fit the 1930s law of what an O to V needs to be. That's purely fruit. We wanted to add a little bit more to it. And again, with that yeast, the fructose from the fruit that we have in there, we also wanted to add some yeast and some flavors from the sucrose from molasses. So it's almost like a rum and an O to V together, but the two combined and better. And that's our primary flagship product. Our tagline, defiantly different, is no accident. Not only do we want to be different, but not for the sake of being different, we want to be creative. But we don't want to necessarily fit into these categories that they came up with almost 100 years ago. They don't apply anymore. People want something that's cool, something that's new, something that you can put your passion into and not have to worry about, can I call this a whiskey? Can I call this a rum? I don't, I don't care what you call it. It's freaking good. It tastes awesome. People want to drink it. And that's what's important to us. We want to make stuff that stands on its own, that you can sip, you can take to a party, people are just gonna love. And you can just say, hey, you've never had anything like this before. You can't start a company by yourself. Uh, I've gotta have a, an incredible team to make this work. So my first call was to my marketing guys. Uh, friends of mine for years, incredible at what they do. And then of course, my wife, 25 years uh, we've been together, and she's an incredible problem solver. Uh, and an incredible asset. And then my buddy James, who is just a, a hard worker, tons of grit, uh, helping me out on operations. And so then really we needed to round out the team with somebody with some industry expertise. I got introduced to this guy, Adam O'Pallick. He was the head of Western sales for a major distillery that just sold for $160 million. Guy knows the industry. We're naming our products after people who were defiantly different. And it just embodies our spirits and our company and those products. Josephine is our nod to the O to V. She's named after Josephine Baker. She shattered social norms for her time. She was incredible. Lawrence is named after Lawrence Peter Freuken. That's our cinnamon rum. Lawrence was just this mountain of a man, an Arctic explorer, just an incredible person in his time. It just fits the bill for our products so well, these people do. And all of our future products are gonna be named after these incredible historic figures. 
What I want people to remember about clear water distilling is that trying to invent a new spirit is like trying to invent a new color. And the problem is since the 30s, we've been dealt this box of eight Crayola crayons. Well, we're gonna melt the damn box of crayons and create our own palette. We're unique, we're experimental, and people love the product. We're gonna be opening the doors in a few weeks, and then we're gonna start distributing to California and Utah. Following that, we're gonna move out into the Midwest and then to the East Coast of the US, and then after that, we're going international. I love what we're doing. This is a great time to own a distillery. We have an incredible team. We've got industry experience. We've got a load of grit. We're kicking ass. We've got great margins, better than 50% margins. And it's a craft distillery and a craft distillery boom. We're cruising. Minimum investment in Clearwater Distilling Company is $249.26. To hear a founder who's dedicated to breaking into the multi-billion dollar craft spirits market is inspiring, and we wish him well. I can barely imagine the challenge of predicting people's tastes in potent potables. There's more to learn about investment possibilities for Clearwater Distilling Company, and the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. To learn more, simply drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. Remember, financing is available for crowdfunding and franchising. Let us show how we can help. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, We'll be right back with more investments for your consideration. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're with us here at SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian Dinovellis. I wouldn't want to take for granted your regular viewing habits when it comes to TV. But if you watch any kind of sports programming, you're likely to recall advertising that sounds like this. Chevrolet trucks, like a rock. Dodge trucks, grab life by the horns. Ford trucks, the best never rest. GMC trucks, the strength of experience. And more, too many to mention. While long established brands have imprinted in our collective memory, the innovative designers and builders at Atlas Motor Vehicles have been working on their dream, the first 100% electric full-size truck, or as they say, the electric pickup truck with no compromises. Atlas calls pickup trucks the last frontier of electric vehicles, and they know how myriad the reasons are for owning a pickup, from mini excursions to long hauls, and they have finally created a plug-in battery electric pickup truck, a truck with unprecedented capabilities at a reasonable price. Atlas founder Mark Hanchett puts it simply, to build a better future, you need to create better alternatives. To deliver an all-electric pickup truck, it must not compromise the existing experience. I, for one, think the campaign pitch video tells the story best. It may just convince you to make an investment in Atlas Motor Vehicles. Let's roll on the pitch video, that is. The average person will spend 140,000 hours at work we want to make it a little bit better. The Atlas truck is for those who work hard. The builders, the farmers, the providers, the fleet owners, and the weekend warriors. We've got work to do, and more important things to think about than this and this. We know the future is electric, but electric vehicles require compromise. Compromise on range, compromise on capability, and compromise on experience. At Atlas Motor Vehicles, we believe you should compromise on nothing. Last year, over 2,000 investors just like you said they believed in our vision and supported us with over $1 million in investments. With that funding, we designed our vehicle and assembled the modular chassis. But at Atlas Motor Vehicles, it's not just about creating another automotive company. We are creating a family of products to improve the way you live and work. With your continued support over the next few years, we will create over 5,000 jobs, set up production right here in the United States, and launch the XT pickup truck. Together, we can build a better future. Invest today.
Minimum investment in Atlas Motor Vehicles is $100. If this Regulation a crowdfunding campaign has gotten you all revved up for investment, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. To learn more, simply drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. And if you have a big idea, an invention, or an innovation you'd like to test out in the marketplace, let us know, because as we always remind you, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including product development, crowdfunding, and franchising. For more information, contact us here. Info at connectsbn.com. We're back with more after this short break. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Back in the day, the popular music industry used to be simple. Someone at a recording service would find a sound, get it recorded and pressed into vinyl LPs and 45 RPM singles. Then promoters came along and made sure the records would be played on the radio, made sure the artists would appear on TV, and made sure the exposure to music continued by staging concerts where the new sound would be introduced to enthusiastic fanatics, in short, fans. Soon. Hordes of music lovers, from preteens to old timers in their 30s, would buy the records which brought its own particular music to the merchant's cash registers. Radios and TVs would eventually give way to cassettes, eight tracks, compact discs, satellite radio, and the internet. Concert tours would be overtaken by ticket selling conglomerates, and the musical sounds would be spirited to consumers over the aptly named bandwidth delivered to your phone, your watch, your tablet, your desktop, integrated into films and streaming TV shows, crafted into a numbing amalgam that was as far from the original music industry as Earth was from Pluto. What it all boils down to is this. The music industry has grown so diverse. For real music fans, it's easy to get left in the dust, searching for emerging artists, new music and videos, concerts coming soon to venues near you. Until now. The group of rising moguls behind Osiris Media have set as their mission to create and curate music and culture podcasts with content that aligns with the interests of passionate music fans of all ages. As they say, they're all about connecting consumers with the music and culture content they crave. Let's let the campaign pitch video connect us with the information you need to consider investing in Osiris Media. Hey, I'm RJ. Over the past 10 years, I've built a consulting business and started a podcast about my favorite band. And I'm Tom Marshall. I've had a 30-year career in the music industry as a musician and a lyricist for the band Fish. And I also have a podcast about my favorite band. We put our podcasts together, and with 12 other podcasts, we formed Osiris. In today's media environment, we're bombarded by content, but we believe that many people are not finding authentic connections to topics they care about. At Osiris, we are making this connection by curating music and culture podcasts for passionate fans and helping like-minded advertisers get in front of engaged customers. Just like ESPN provided passionate sports fans with a way to engage more deeply with their interests, Osiris is doing the same thing for music and culture. With audio podcasts, video, and live events, we're creating commentary and experiences for music fans to delight and inform, while helping companies connect with a difficult to reach demographic in an authentic way. Now Osiris has almost 30 podcasts, and we've had over 1.7 million downloads in the past year. This year, we're developing original podcasts hosted by high-profile musicians. We're creating events that connect fans with their favorite artists, and creating videos that keep fans up to date on everything that's happening in music. The podcast industry is growing in impressive ways. The recent acquisition of Gimlet Media by Spotify was one of the biggest deals in this industry to date and shows that many big players are seeing the potential in podcasting. We believe the intimacy of the medium combined with the growing technological advances make this a great industry to have a business in right now. We just learned that monthly podcast listening made its biggest jump ever this year. Now 32% of Americans are monthly podcast listeners. And advertisers also see this potential. In 2017, there was $314 million in podcast ad revenue, which was an 86% increase from 2016. 
We've been able to monetize this business already through podcast advertising with companies like Ben & Jerry's, Cushco, and Diageo. And we have great marketing partners like Cash or Trade and Jambase. We have an outstanding team and an engaged advisory board, including Andy Weissman of Union Square Ventures, Felicia D'Ambrosio of Federal Donuts, and Steve Martocci, who started Group Me and Splice. We started Osiris by focusing on music that we love, jam bands, bluegrass, indie rock, and classic rock. And these genres all have very passionate fan bases, but we envision this growing into something much bigger. We want to engage passionate music fans across the musical spectrum, from genres like EDM to hip hop to pop music. We're launching this campaign to help us scale our content creation, marketing, and sales, while also continuing to establish ourselves as a go-to destination for music conversation and commentary. We hope that you'll join us on this journey to create the future for music fan engagement. Minimum investment in Osiris Media is $299.71. They claim to offer audio podcasts, video, and live events that will delight and inform fans as they plan to help companies connect with their target demographics in an authentic way. So heaven forgive me, trying to encapsulate the history of music into the bookends of a campaign pitch. There's a lot more to learn about making an investment in Osiris Media, and the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you with business and legal advisors, including our own crowdfunding guru, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. You can drop us a line by emailing here info at sbncrowd.com. Remember, financing is available for crowdfunding and franchising. Let us show how we can help. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back with more investments for your consideration. Stay tuned. I think that the most important thing for anybody as they build their business is getting comfortable looking at reports, even if it's not the sexiest part of your business, because it isn't. <laughs> it's a really important metric for how you're doing, and if you look at those numbers regularly, you're going to be able to make changes and adjustments that allow you to grow a lot faster. One of the hardest things about being a small business owner is handling all the different things you're responsible for, from finances, to production, to sales, to people, you name it, you are working all the time and you're thinking about your business all the time. One of the things that is really important is deciding where you're gonna spend your money, where you wanna put it. There's a lot of different costs involved in running a business. We're primarily a wholesale company, so our biggest cost is just manufacturing our goods. But of course, there's staff fees, there's warehousing fees, our third-party logistics center, there's legal, all sorts of professional fees. In trying to decide how to allocate our money, I am not a bookkeeper, I'm not an accountant, but I do look at reports regularly. Every week, I'm checking our profit and loss, I'm looking at our inventory levels, and trying to adjust things. I think that you have to be paying attention to the actual numbers because you will play favorites with your favorite styles, or you know, certain things will seem like they're doing better. You just can't trust what you think is happening. And it's important to learn to take your emotions out of any of your business decisions, and especially out of what product you're going to make or discontinue. It has to be about the numbers in the end. That's going to wrap things up for us today. I'm Brian DeNovellis. We hope you've seen something to consider for your next investment and hope too you'll join us again next time. Thanks for watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. You don't realize when you're mentoring and talking to people that you're more than just that mentor. You're, you're that person's support base. And sometimes you're the only person that they have that they can talk about these things with.